The year of 2023 is wrapping up and we had some amazing progressments in Prodigy this year. I am going to go more in depth on this topic when I make my um, best updates of 2023 video and closer to the end of December. But for now, I want to talk about where I think Prodigy is likely to go in 2024. And by this, I mean story-wise, not like other updates-wise. So this is going to be more about the story of Prodigy and what is going to happen after the Puppet Master's defeat. So let's go ahead and get into my predictions. We could actually get confirmation on something about this and the future of Prodigy quite soon because remember what Prodigy has said about this topic in uh, pretty recently. Watch this clip. Is this it for Prodigy? Is Prodigy over? Uh, the short answer is no. No, Prodigy's not over. We're not going to roll the credits on the Prodigy universe now that the Puppet Master's been defeated. There is something coming next, but we are not quite ready to talk about it yet. We might be ready before the holidays, but don't hold us to it. So what this means is, of course, that Prodigy is not done with the game and that there are new story updates that are going to be coming and they are working on these updates and they said that they may or may not be able to provide new information by the holidays, which it is the holidays now. As you heard in that clip, they said they may be able to share new information by the holidays, but don't hold them to it. So. Don't expect any new information by the holidays, but it is possible that we could be getting uh, the new information quite soon from now. Any new information is highly anticipated because we all are excited to see where the story of Prodigy is going to go from, uh, from now after you've defeated the Puppet Master. So, what might this look like? Well, of course, we'll need a new antagonist. This is most likely going to be an entirely new character introduced to the game, likely a part of the Order of Influence, since of course, Shadow Magic was not destroyed with the Puppet Master. The Order of Influence is still out there, and so another member of the Order of the Influence would make sense to be the next antagonist of Prodigy. I highly doubt it's going to be Pivot because he's just just a side character and uh well it could be possible since the last we saw of him was just him running away after we defeated him but yeah I don't think it's going to be Pivot at all. Pivot probably won't even be in Prodigy anymore. For some reason right now, he's still in elemental areas where you can battle him. Prodigy might be updating that soon. So I think it is a pretty safe assumption to say that the next antagonist of Prodigy is going to be a shadow member of the Order of Influence that is an even larger threat than the Puppet Master. Something that rises out of the shadows when the Puppet Master is defeated. Now, what do I think the story is going to involve? The most obvious answer is, of course, the Academy Elemental Towers. Since you defeated the Puppet Master, when you go to the Elemental Towers, there's a new sign on all of them, including the Earth and Ice Tower, that reads... This path will open only when enough light is brought to dispel the shadows, or something along the lines of that. The Earth Tower, Ice Tower, Storm Tower, Fire Tower, and Water Tower, along with the Astral Tower, they all have that message on them. And so, it is kind of safe to assume, as well, that they are going to be part of Prodigy's new story, but of course, in a completely different way than the Earth and Ice Towers were previously released for. 
I'm sure that they will get, like, completely remade when they are, uh, released again, along with the other elemental towers, because it's going in a completely different direction. They don't have, like, the two-year gap between the towers, I would assume. They kind of learned their lesson and stopped going down that path and chose to go ahead and battle the Puppet Master so they could change their story and probably have the towers be the next part of the story. Because after you defeat the Puppet Master, Newt talks about how the Wardens are still missing, the Elemental Wardens, because now with the Earth and Ice Towers retconned, the only place that we have seen any of the Wardens is Florian being seen in Firefly Forest. So far, that has been the only Warden that we have seen, assuming that Florian would even stay the Plant Warden. There are plenty of possibilities. We will, of course, have to wait and see on everything. Newt makes it clear that we need to bring enough light to uh, help save the Wardens, so that is also going to be uh, the next part of the story, the Wardens and the Elemental Towers. And just another reminder, it is going to be completely different than what we experienced with the previous Earth and Ice Towers. And pretty much from there, there is nowhere really to speculate because the possibilities are completely endless. Prodigy can do whatever they want to go with the story. And so we can never predict what is actually going to take place in the future. But I am super excited for the future. So remember that we could be getting information on the future of Prodigy quite soon because they said around the holidays so keep that in mind of course if we get any information I will always make a video about it so always be keeping watch for that kind of thing and what do you think about the possibilities for the future of Prodigy are you excited for what is to come let me know all of your thoughts in the comments.